As I told you in the last video, the Intermediate Value Theorem actually has a lot of applications. So we're going to do a business application here, a financial planning application. So as part of your financial planning, you invest $500 of your tax returns each year for 10 years at an annual interest rate of R, where R is a decimal. The amount of money in your account after 10 years is given by this function. Now you'll notice this is a function of R. R is your in dependent variable and A is your dependent variable. Now your goal is to have $7,000 in your account after 10 years. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prove that there is an intermediate, um, using the intermediate value theorem, that there is an interest rate that will make this work for us. And then we'll actually find that interest rate. So we're actually going to do both parts like I mentioned in the last example. Okay, so let's start with A. So for part A, I need to actually prove that I can use the intermediate value theorem and then do so. So prove the IVT applies. Okay, so that means that I need condition one and condition two. So condition number one is that that function A of R has to be continuous. So A of R, which is that function up there, I'm not going to write it down um, because we can all see it, and it is continuous, continuous on our interval. Our interval would be, now they're talking about having an interest rate in within this, but remember the intermediate value theorem has, let me bring it back real quick, it has an open interval for where there must be a value, and that's what they're talking about, but the closed interval for this setup. So it must be from 0 0.01 with a bracket to 0 0.10 with a bracket. And it definitely is continuous on that, and let's see why. If you look at the numerator, that's a polynomial. 1 plus r to the 10 is a polynomial, divided by another polynomial r. So the only value that won't exist is the value that would make the denominator zero. In other words, we're looking at a quotient, a rational expression, right, right here. So we have a polynomial divided by a polynomial, so the only issue will be a value that would make the denominator zero. And that is rather obviously r equals zero. So it's continuous on this interval because um, r equals zero is not contained within the interval. Right? And that function must be continuous everywhere else. All right. right, again it's because it's a polynomial. A of r is equal to p of r over q of r, right? So they're both polynomials. That means that the only value that can't exist is r equals zero, and we have no problems. Condition number two is a little bit more work. So for condition number two, we need to find f of, or excuse me, a of our low value, 0.01, and a of our high value, 0.10. Okay, so I would grab um, a calculator and just type these in or um, grab Desmos, etc. So I have Desmos, I believe. Let me see if I'm right. Indeed, I am. So I've named my function a of r right here, and I said that I only wanted to look at it from uh, 0.01 to 0.10, just like that. And then I actually put in a table. You could just use your calculator, or you could use your calculator table feature, or you could just type these things in. But I use the table feature, which is right here with the table. And then I call these values R1, and I name these A of R1. So 0 0.01 gets me 5,231. 0 0.10 gets me 7,968. Again, calculator will work, decimals will work, whatever. So I'm going to get these values of 5,231 roughly, and roughly 7,960, I think it was 9, if we round, yes, 7,969, um, 7, if we round. 
Okay, so now what's our limit value? What's the value we were interested in? Our L. So we look at these two values, and L for us was 7,000, right here. There's our L. So I want L equals 7,000 to be between these two numbers, and it is, right? L of 7,000 is between A of 0 0.01 and a of 0 0.10. So I have condition 1, it's continuous, and I have condition 2, I have my L value between my starting and ending outputs. That means that there must exist, so therefore um, there must exist some um, R value, some interest rate value um, between or within the interval 0 0.01 comma 0 0.10 such that the account um, would have ten thousand or have seven thousand dollars, have seven thousand um, dollars at ten years. Okay, so part A is all done. I use the intermediate value theorem and I showed that there must exist an interest rate in this open interval right here because that's what the theorem says um, between those two numbers that allows us to reach that financial goal of $7,000 at 10 years. All right, now we actually have to find it, but they're telling us to use a graphing utility. Aha, so a calculator or Desmos. So I'm going to use Desmos, and I already have. It's right here. So there's my function right here. And I graph my other function, which is 7,000. And then all I need to do is click up here, and then I've got the intersection. And then I'm just going to draw that graph on my paper. And now I'm going to go back to my paper. Of course, I've included a scale and all of that. Oop, my scale is off here. It's, I only meant to go to 0 0.10. Sorry. 0.10-ish. There we go. So that means that intersection point that I found means that um, an interest rate of about 7.3% um, will yield the $7,000 goal that we were looking for. So we want 7.3% interest.